I'm going to try to match up a couple of rockets that I've got here. Uh, but before I do that, let me show you the paraphernalia that I'm going to be using. I've made myself up a couple of, uh, of jigs. This right here, these two pieces right here, are uh, some angle brackets that I got from Home Depot. This jig goes, or this bracket goes up an inch and a half this way, and the long piece is two inches. So this one goes up two inches, and the piece that I've got glued down is an inch and a half. I'm going to use this portion right here to basically balance my racket on, and this portion right here is going to be a stop. Okay, I've got this set up so that when I go up against that stop, the center of this uh, angle bracket right here is 10 centimeters from this stop. So I know when I put my racket in here in such a fashion, that I've got this racket supported 10 centimeters from the butt of my racket. Okay, uh, this one here now, I've just simply taken a triangular shaped ruler and glued it down to another board and I'm going to use this to, uh, these two jigs to basically balance my, my tennis rackets. I've got two pieces of dowel here now and I'm using these dowels so that I have a fixed distance between this balance point here and this balance point here of 30 centimeters. And I also know that this balance point is 10 centimeters from this stop. This balance point is 40 centimeters from this stop. I've got a longer, I've also got a pen and pad. Let me just get those out of the way. I've also got a longer dowel here now that I can use to uh, separate these two uh, jigs so that now this balance point and this balance point is 50 centimeters apart and this balance point is 60 centimeters from this stop right here. And then what I can do is just place my racket on these, make sure that this is pushed up tight against the dowel, which is pushed up tight against the other jig, and I can make measurements. Uh, I've also got two postal scales here, and these two postal scales, you don't really need two of them, but it's a lot easier to just look at both of them at the same time and get two readings rather than switching everything around. The first thing I'm going to do now uh, to start balancing my rocket is uh, I know that both of these rackets are exactly the same length. Uh, yes, they're exactly the same length. Uh, I'm going to take this first racket and weigh this racket. First I call up the scale zero out. This racket weighs 337 grams on this scale. And this racket, which I'll call racket B, that's the one that doesn't have the grip as messed up because of my over wraps, weighs 340 grams. I'm going to take the other scale and just verify that they're both the same. Okay. This one says it weighs 340 grams. This one says it weighs 337 grams. So racket A, which is going to be my top racket here, weighs 337 grams. I'm going to try to get these scales pretty, pretty straight across so that I can keep everything straight. Racket A weighs 337 grams, and racket B, which is on the bottom, weighed 340 grams. So I'm just going to say, write this down. And then I'm going to take some measurements. Okay, uh, let me get my contraption set up here. And I want to make sure that they're the right distance apart and that everything's in there. Now I'm going to zero out the scales. And I'm going to take racket A, which is the top one, which is the wider grip.
and I'm going to weigh it. This one says it weighs 191 grams. This one weighs 146 grams. So at the 10 centimeter point, it weighs 191. And at the 60 centimeter point, it weighs uh, 146. If I add those two numbers together, I should come up with the same thing that I started out with, which is 337 grams. Now I'm going to do the same thing for racket B. Everything zeroed out. Okay, this one weighs 191 grams. This one weighs 149 grams. 191 and 149. So what I could do is stop right here at this point and add 3 grams of weight right here at this location right here. But I'm going to take it just a little bit farther. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take my rackets off and put the short dowel in here. Move the scales a little bit closer together. Whoops. Let me get them straight. I just want to make sure they're straight. Okay, it's thrown off my balance quite a bit, so about three or four grams. So I'm going to zero this scale out. I'm going to zero this scale out. I'm going to take racket B, the one with a cleaner grip. I'm going to weigh it again. Okay. This one says now it weighs uh, 93 grams here and 247 grams there. So on the 10 centimeter point it's 93 grams. That's racket B, 93. And up here is 247 grams. I'm going to do the same thing with racket A. Make sure it's against the stop. Everything's pushed up nice and tight. This one weighs 243 and 94. Hmm. I don't know why this one's a little bit heavier here. Everything looks good. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, racket A, which is this racket right here, and I'm going to add, uh, what we say, three grams of weight to it. Okay. I'm going to turn these scales off, and I'll be back after I do that. On this ruler now, uh, I've got a scale, I, I doubt you can see it here, but uh, this goes from 0 to 12 inches and it shows uh, an inch and it also shows tenths of an inch. So what I've done is I've taken a 3 inch piece of lead tape, that's 3 inches long, and this 3 inch piece of lead tape will weigh 3 grams. I got this uh, uh, tape from... Uh, a golf place or whatever, but anyway it weighs one gram per inch and I'm just going to basically cut it in half so that I've got an inch and a half for each one of them. Let me check this one. And it's a little bit sharp, but not enough that I can ever tell. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each of these in half and put them on rocket A. What I'm going to do now is rather than putting them up at the 60 centimeter point, I'm going to put them at the 3 and 9 o'clock position because I don't think it'll make that much difference. Uh, this is the racket I want. So now what I need to do is take my tape and just add it on at 3 and 9 o'clock. Okay. I'm just going to start on a string, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
uh, let's just say string number eight. I've got this centered on string number eight. That's one piece. And I'm going to do the same thing with half of the other piece on the other side. Then this one is half of that one, so I'm going to put this piece right here opposite that piece. Here's string eight. And then this one goes on the opposite side. And I'm going to weigh everything all over again just to see what I've done. This is string 8 here. Ah. Alright, let's start all over again now. This is racket A. I'll just put it on top. And I'm going to start at the top. Separate them by the long dowel. Just try to get everything straight. Well, they've all turned off, so let me turn them back on. Let them zero out. Zero, zero. Okay, I'm going to take racket A again. I should have weighed it first, but I'll weigh it last. Just to make sure they weigh the same. This one weighs 191. This one weighs 149. So that's the... Uh, no, that's not the same. I was looking at racket B. Okay, now I'm going to weigh racket B. Everything does seem to twist up right when you don't want it to. I'll tell you what, let me take this off, make sure I've got everything zeroed out again. That's zero, that's not zero. Let me start back with racket A again. One ninety one, one forty nine. Zero, zero. One ninety one, one forty nine. So both of these weigh the same now. What I've done now is when I grip this racket, uh, my first knuckle right here just about touches at the ten centimeter point. Actually, the ten centimeter point is just a little bit higher than that. About a about three-tenths of a centimeter higher. But what I've done is I've basically balanced it so that the force that goes down on this racket above where I'm holding it is the same for this racket as it is for this racket. I can't really tell the difference. Uh, I probably couldn't have told the difference before I added that uh, three grams of weight to this racket either. But uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look, put the short side in there and see what happens with the short side. I want to get these lined up again. And because I'm changing everything, I want to zero it out. This one's on a 3. This one's on 4. Alright, they're all zeroed out. This is rocket B. This one is uh, 247, this one is 93, which is the same thing that it was, and it hasn't changed. This is racket A that I added the tape to.
This one's 247. This one's 93. This one's changed. The only thing that I can assume is because I added the weight up here, this weight has, because it's above the point that I'm balancing the racket, has canceled out the weight down here. Now this is 93. This is 247. So they're all the same. This is 93. This is 247. So everything looks great. I could stop right here, and, and I probably would, but what I want to do now is I want to put grips on these rackets and check them again.